Hello everyone. Today we will discuss tonic labyrinthine reflex, also known as TLR. Now, this reflex is very important as it establishes link between vestibular system and proprioceptive system. Let me explain you what is vestibular system and proprioception first. Vestibular system is given a task to maintain body's balance and proprioception is a system which signals brain regarding body's position in the space. For example, if I am walking, then whether my leg is moving, how my leg and foot are moving, my trunk is moving, we will think about that movement, about that position. That thing, that information is given to brain via proprioceptive system. And in spite of that movement, in spite of that movement, my body's balance is maintained by vestibular system. So it is very important that there should be a link between this vestibular system and proprioceptive system. And it is established by labyrinthine reflexes. And one of them is tonic labyrinthine reflex. Now what is this reflex? Well, a child is born if you are holding a child and if you move their head forward like this, then a child would have increase in flexor tone. Flexor muscles are placed almost anteriorly. So they will just go into a curling position like this. And if you are holding a child and if you slightly move the head back upward like this or if you show some toy and they look up and bend their head backward at that time there will be increase in extensor muscle tone child will go into extension and extensor muscles for upper body are lying on back of neck and back now initially when child is born at that time there are no muscles in this neck region it is this reflex this tonic labyrinthine reflex which helps in development of this muscle tone particularly anti-gravity muscle tone this reflex is present when a child is inside mother's womb after 12 weeks of conceiving a child this reflex appears and it guides baby regarding its position inside mother's womb and while delivery it also guides child regarding changing position because there is changing position of head during normal delivery process via birth canal and after birth this reflex is present up till 6 months maximum 9 months and if it is present beyond this time limit or if it is present beyond one year of life then it will hinder child's development. It is very necessary that this reflex should be present when a baby is very small under 6 months of age because this reflex will train the muscles as I said. But if it is present beyond then what are the difficulties? The difficulty would be a posture because a child with retained that is present tonic labyrinthine reflex beyond one year of age will have a poor slouch posture like this. They will have thin arms and thin legs. Muscles will not develop in their arm region, in their leg region, in their hip girdle. The shoulder girdle muscles will not develop. They will have constant pain in neck region. They will have tight neck muscles, tight leg muscles. There will be constant tension over here. They will find difficulty in exercises and sports. They will have difficulty in time management and sequencing. Now this is very important. Sequencing gets affected if TLR is not integrated on time. Sequencing is required in reading, in maths, in time management. So while reading, they might skip few words or few lines. While doing maths, they will not be able to do proper calculations because sequencing is required in maths. While going somewhere or even while getting ready for the school they will not realize that they are getting late so that concept of time will be difficult to be introduced they will also find difficulty in judging depth and distance so while walking 
they will need to see down where they are putting their legs they will be looking down and walking there is a increased tendency of toe walking in the skids plus they have increased risk of falls they will be constantly bumping here and there with the furniture while walking so there will be frequent falls they will find difficulty in activities like dancing and as i said gym activities also will be difficult they may find issues in management of space also if you give a chart and to draw a picture so even if it's a big chart they might draw a picture in one corner they will not utilize the space so managing space will be an issue so these are the difficulties that they will find poor muscle tone balance issues and sequencing will be a difficulty depth and distance perception will be a difficulty so if a child is finding difficulty in any of these areas that mean then we need to check for the presence of tla whether it is integrated whether it is partially integrated or completely integrated okay so if it's a small baby as i have already said change in head position will show us whether tla is present or not if head goes into flexion or forward bending there will be increase in muscle tone if head goes into extension that is backward bending increase in extensor tone if you put this small child on ground a 3 or 4 month old child is on ground then if they are lying on their back there is increase in extensor tone and if they are lying on their tummy there is increase in flexor tone and gradually this reflex will integrate and child will develop integrity muscles balance whenever they are reaching for any toy or anything when they are lying on their tummy and their head is up at that time they will be able to maintain their balance that is because tlr is integrating so we will further see how to assess or how to check presence of tlr or integration of tlr is there or not and also the exercises which helps in integration or suppression of this tonic labyrinth and reflex please do watch my next video in which i have demonstrated the exercises for integration of tlr and also how to check whether it is integrated or not hope you find this informative do like and subscribe my videos and my channel thank you